What's fucking going on? I'm in the... <laughs> We're in the JZX100 Mach 2, man. Like two years ago, I was sitting in a seat. Spare parts all around me and shit. And now, we're cruising, driving, stick, shifting. Brand new gearbox, brand new clutch. Man, one JZ. <laughs> Man, it's good to be back, boys and girls. Welcome back to a fresh new episode where your boy is finally back and boosted after years after years of no boost after years of no oh, I mean I had the Sylvia last year but you know we had to cut we had to unfortunately sell to, to, to fund this dream and here we are uh, as you can see I've got the windows closed I just got the aircon fixed yesterday or oh, a couple days ago actually the car the car is fully aligned and we're rolling. We're, we're Gucci. Uh, you guys would have noticed the lack of content coming out on the channel. I've had a huge kind of mindset, uh, mindset shift and also been very, very, very occupied with just life, you know? Uh, so you guys would have seen that I went to Europe, London, Rome, as well as Amsterdam. So London, Rome, Sorrento, Amsterdam. And the reason I went to Europe is because my my job that I started last year sent me off to, to London to do like an all hands event to meet up with everyone around the world. So Australia, Texas, London, France, we all linked up in London for the conference for a few days. And we had the option to extend that, take some annual leave and make a trip out of it. So I did my work stuff, Curse came a few days after and we did a quick little trip of Europe kind of like our little honeymoon I guess because we never actually got the chance to go on one um, that plus injuries plus dude you don't know how hard it is to actually work on the car in the middle of the night putting suspension arms in lights on it was rough so I apologize for not being able to vlog but at the same time I don't apologize because I got so much work done electronic uh, widen all the electrics the head unit the, um, the Viper alarm uh, all sorts of security, dash cam, you name it. And at the same time, got all the adjustable arms in as well. She's lined up, driving, pumped out the guards. I got injured, went to physio. The whole nine yards. But we're finally here. We can finally enjoy the car. And I can finally show you guys the, the JZX100 Mark II. The vision that I've been planning for the past two years. Um, first of all, big shout out to Charlie who helped me put the motor together the driveline together. Uh, Kirsten who helped me and her fam and my fam for like all the support that they've given me. Um, Tyson Platform Panelcraft. I think I did this out on my Instagram anyway, but special thanks, man. But here we are cruising. Uh, it's a nice spring day. A nice weather in spring here in Australia. So um, I'm actually heading off to Super Cheap. Super Cheap. That's my freaking dash cam that goes when the traffic is moving. So he knows. He's talking to me and shit. Anyway, we're off to Super Cheap Auto. I'm actually picking up a head unit for the Forester. Um, after hearing e man sound system in his Forester, uh, it kind of motivated me to get um, a head unit in the, in, in the Forester because I've been using this FM transmitter and this is trash. So I was looking at the, the same head unit that I've got in the Mark II, which is the Sony XAV1000 Apple CarPlay head unit. It's mint because like you can run Waze, like I'm looking at Waze right now. I don't have to touch my phone. Um, you can change songs. It's actually a really, really good investment. So we're getting one of those for the Forester as well because that is my daily run around. Um, and it just popped up on sale on super cheap order for about from 500 down to about 400 So I've ordered that as well as those two different um, connector plugs. So we're just going to super cheap to pick that up and also I've been doing some mods to my G29 um, Assetto Corsa setup. So I've just got this little adapter here and I've got to get the right screws to suit So I've ordered them from spares box, but they're taking ages to come. They haven't even sent me a tracking link So I'm just gonna to go to Bunnings and just find some screws to suit. I think it's like an M5 to 25 millimeter I 
I've also got to say, because it is a brand new gearbox and a brand new clutch, we have to run the car in for about 500 to 1,000 kilometers because all the metal is fresh. You can't be giving the car too much abuse. So don't expect me to do any crazy thing with this car just yet. I'm just gonna take it easy, but I'm not, I'm not mad about it because at least it gives me some time to enjoy the car, learn the ins and outs about it, and then you know start going into you know doing some events, drifting, Drifting, that's a whole other topic, man. Like a lot of the tracks in Sydney are being closed down. It's actually quite sad because like I built this car to send it drifting. Um, I mean, you can always go onto the streets, but <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just can't concentrate, bro. Like driving this whip is so nice. I've only been driving it for about maybe a week or two from the point where I'm making this video. So, I've just been taking it easy, man. But, I have been posting more on TikTok. So, because it is very difficult to get the camera out and vlog every, every, everything, I've just been recording clips on my phone. So I've got a backlog of all these videos that I've made. So if you guys aren't following my TikTok, make sure you go check it out. Uh, you guys see there's a bit of a name change, Dalpa Daddy. Now the reason behind the name change is that my last name is Dalpadato and I wanted to kind of pay homage to my last name and kind of incorporate that in. And I've always wanted to change it for a while, but back then I wasn't ready to become a dad. But now as you know, man's married and dad, I'm ready to become a dad. So if I call myself Dalpa Daddy when I wasn't ready to become a dad, it wouldn't feel right, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm ready to be a dad, so I'm ready to bring some kids in this world, you know what I'm saying? Stop busting, <laughs> busting some nuts. Uh, but that's the reason for the name change. You can still call me Yendori if you want to. Um, I feel like Dalpa Daddy's got a better ring to it. Obviously, if you're my OGs, like, you can still call me Yendori. I don't mind. My name is Rodney, so that's where the whole Yendori name came about because it was like my name backwards. Yen, Japanese, Dori, this, that. But I feel like Dalpa Daddy's got more of like a... more of like a presence and it's like a... The syllable is a strong syllable. It's not like a yeah, yeah. It's not as yeah is a very like a mild syllable, but duh, duh is a very like a very dominant syllable. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's got more of a punch to it. But that's the reason for the name change. Uh, but best believe the content's still going to remain somewhat the same. But we're coming at it now with a different kind of approach because I feel like I feel like TikTok's going to be the next the next thing. You know, like. YouTube's still gonna be there, but TikTok is just so much more easily accessible and I'm just making content for fun, yeah? So I wanna do it where it has the most impact. Like the recent video I did for the JXLX100 Mark II's alignment, I'm just gonna call it Mark II, what is it? The Mark II's alignment, um, that got over like close to half a thousand likes and a couple thousand views. Whereas compared to an, like on, Insta, on um, YouTube, I'd only get like a couple hundred. But I'm still gonna make long form content on the channel like this, like me talking to the, me talking to the uh, camera and you know doing little videos and that in the background. I might actually play those videos in the background. That might be pretty cool. Um, all the all the content that I've taken in the past, you can have something to kind of watch while I blabber on. I just love to blabber on. Like put me in the car, put me in the whip, turn the camera on, and just talk. And I'm sure some of you guys like that too. Uh, but yeah, walk arounds, flybys, outdoor video, like we're gonna do a whole lot of content throughout everything. It's gonna be primarily TikTok and YouTube, Instagram. Upgraded rig, lads. Hub, naughty, handbrake. We had that before, and a new shifter. Yeah, and the swivel screen. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, mate? You ready to get some vlogs cranking? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the vlog. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to get these. Tell, tell them why we got the bags in there. So the bags are here because there are holes in the roof of the car and so the water goes into the car but you can't see it because it goes underneath the carpet yeah yeah well actually there is a bit of a wet patch oh, there God. 
because I didn't actually put it on last night. It's okay. It's just loose. So, yeah. I don't think our bags will fit in either. We have to put it in the back. Any water on that side? Uh, on the floor? A bit. Okay. It's part of the game, mate. Sometimes it does that because it's old. It's a common old car problem. You gotta crack it twice. Alrighty, now we gotta let the roof down. We gotta, we gotta take these flaps down, press this button, and then you hit the switch. like that <laughs> we actually aren't running front plates at the moment because we have to actually drill into the front bumper but we're running exactly. rear plates should be fine as long as the back's on it should be sweet do I say some shit some shit <laughs> <laughs> what's going on guys <laughs> cheeky gym sesh with curse now we're in the FC heading back home and tonight is game night. Game night. Panthers versus Paramite. Panthers uh, deal. <laughs> Paramus. But check out this. Uh, just the views, man. The vibe is excellent right now. We're gonna start like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday training team, you know. Yeah. So I was supposed to install the head unit today in the Forester. Side of the car, power string. Because I replaced an O-ring and apparently that OEM O-ring had snapped. Went on a wild goose trace, trying to put another new O-ring in. And I think now the power steering has completely left the chat. But thankfully I've got a weekend car, which is the Mark II that can drive me from A to B. It just sucks how the daily that's supposed to be reliable is now gone skis and the weekender is going strong. Uh, it's just crazy. So um, <clears throat> now that the Mark II is a daily, I just ended up pumping up the guards a little bit more, creased up the front guard a little bit, which kind of sucks. It's part of the game. good sheesh we're off to Toyota Fest 2022 here at Castle Hill Toyota in the Mark II <laughs> it's not fucking today it's on the 2nd of October fuck oh no and it's double T's what the fuck am I doing uh, oh Hey, Kirst. Hello? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 I came all the way to Toyota and I'm wondering why the fuck the gate's closed. It's fucking next week. Oh, <laughs> fuck. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go do the groceries then. <laughs> Yo. This is red hot too, bro. So, it's double D's in Sydney right now because of the Queen's death anniversary weekend. So double D's, for those of you that aren't in Australia, means that whatever offence you do, you get charged double the demerits. And usually, like, you just have to drive safely and just, like, be careful. But sometimes there might be increased 
cop presence, but usually there isn't. I think that the fear in itself kind of gets people. But you never know. Touch wood. I ain't got no wood, but I'm gonna touch on this carbon. I'm gonna touch on this carbon fiber. You know what I'm saying? Touching this carbon fiber. But fuck, I just came all the way out to freaking Castle Hill. Luckily, it's only like 15, 20 minutes away. So while I'm driving, real quick, performance wise, stock standard 1JZ BBTI. The best murder created, in my opinion, uh, in terms of like Toyota. I, I, I do like the 2JZ, but I feel like the, uh, you guys can agree that the turn of the 1J. It's a bit more hollow and it just a bit more it has a bit of a bit, bit of a vibe to it, you know. Um, so it's got a stock standard 1JZ VVTI engine. I think about 160,000 kilometers on the clock, with about 190,000 kilometers on the chassis, which is the body of the vehicle. Um, like I said, stock standard. We've got a full exhaust, Terme dump pipe, uh, all the way through three-inch system stainless into a muffler at the back and then you've got the little blast pipe sticking out stock 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 um i said stuck a few times oh, what's, what's going on when you rock up and nothing's going on Bruh, I'm, fuck, <laughs> I'm freaking wake up 7 30 in the morning wash the car change the grill put the wheel nuts on <laughs> bro i'm I, i'm fucking driving through clenching my butt cheeks as double demerits bro dosing past every car yeah. And I rock up at Castle Hill, I'm like, got my ways on, everything. <laughs> I rock up and I'm like, why the fuck's the gate open? I'm like, surely there's no, there's no fucking back entrance. I'm like, let me check the date real quick. Check the date, fucking next week. <laughs> oh my god. What, oh, it, what a sit up. That's so funny, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought. I'm, I'm like literally pissing myself off maybe. I'm, I've been, I've been, I've been, been bank camp setting up my uh, set of speakers and then I, I pull out my phone. And it's like, oh, Ronnie sent a photo. <laughs> Bro, Toyota Fest is next week. I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> so I, I'm pissing myself. People are just looking at me like, so much uh, or something. <laughs> because I remembered, I said, oh, yeah, fuck, I told the E-man to come to and If I had forgotten to tell you, you'd rock up to cars and experience the same 100%. shit. 100%. I would have walked up and I would, it would have just been empty. And then you'd, like, you'd, you'd call me like, hey, bro, where are you? I'd be like, oh, I, by the way, it's fucking not this week. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Made this trek at all. Oh, uh, shit. What's good, guys? It's your boy in London. I'm on a tourist man thing, but I'm actually here for on business, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, this will be exciting. First day, fucking exhausted, man. Just checked into the hotel. Luckily, I got first, I uh, got early check in, which is hectic. And then now I'm just gonna go look for some lunch. Right here in Canary Wharf. I'm up there somewhere, the Marriott. Chair, yeah, man. Kez is gonna join us on. Wait, let me turn around real quick. Kurt is gonna join us on the uh, when, Wednesday? On Wednesday? And the plan is but she's gonna come Wednesday, I'm gonna do some work stuff, and then she's gonna just like do stuff during the day, we'll link up at night time. Then we're gonna fly to Italy, Rome, Sorrento, then we're gonna do Amsterdam, and then pretty much back home. So a nice quick two week cheeky trip in London, uh, Europe, let's fucking go. This is gonna get crazy. Because when you're in the States, Chipotle was like fucking the best. Mm. First time walking into a prep. So it's very obvious. What's crazy is that entire food court down there is all just like below this mad park area outside. Like, what the heck? Like, upper level you've got a mad park where everyone's like kicking back, chilling out. And then downstairs you got a whole ass shopping center. Bro, London's crazy man. London's crazy. We do automotive. Automotive here. 
That's what the room kind of looks like. It's a bit messy up on my clothes in the ground. Now. Oh man, I'm exhausted. Oh, 24 hours transportation and that. And now, oh man, Sydney to London is a trek. But it's worth it. I had Chipotle and Chipotle is banging if you haven't tried chipotle i actually know i didn't know the uk had chipotle i knew the states did obviously where kirsten and i went chipotle was like top tier for us but i didn't know that um london had chipotle also i don't know if i should vlog or make tiktok videos like i don't know which one i should do anyway time to get some rest Good morning, day two in London, getting used to the time zones and that, fell asleep at 3am, woke up today, uh, well, gonna head off to the gym, Ooh, didn't bring running shoes, I'm gonna wear my fresh white Reeboks, man, you get me, um, hopefully I don't ruin them, fuck, I should've bought like running shoes or something, whatever mate. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. Is it? Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> you! You can't see sharks coming up from underneath, yeah. yeah. I can't even that. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Well, we're from America, so... What's going on? <laughs> we are here. I've got my pool noodle on, dog. Because this is like, what, 40 meters deep? <laughs> that anchor was going to go. <laughs> the anchor just kept going zing, 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 zing. So we got the boat parked up oh. and everyone's just jumping off. Quick little swim. Didn't you wash your hair yesterday? <laughs> but I knew it was gonna wash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to get back on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> 